I'm eager for the action to start. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Um, not the easiest, but I I'm going to keep more of an eye on Romelu Lukaku here. He may not look the most polished centre-forward, but he has a physical presence about him. He's good on the turn for a big man, and he loves to work the ball onto that very powerful left foot. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. De Bruyne. Oh, he's broken through. Gel Mario. Cristiano Ronaldo. Gomez. Gel Mario. Gomez. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Nani. Nani showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. For Tongan. Tries a through ball. He's in space and looking for options. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Can he finish? Goal! Belgium! And Belgium are ahead! Jim, your thoughts? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. Belgium get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Fellaini. No surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact. Well, not only can a player of such high calibre show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment. This guy was born to create. the line and it's a throw it's got through and Gomez Gomez and full tilt down the right hand side and he's onside! And he's there to hoof it away. And the defence can get it clear. Gomez. Cristiano Ronaldo. Azar tries the route one option. And we've reached half time. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. It's the start of the second half. Portugal don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Hurtling down that right flank. Nyingalan gets it away. And it's Lukaku. Now it's Fellaini. Fellaini floats one over. De Bruyne. Seems now to be all about wit. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide area, well, that's surely a foul free kick. Now the pass. Now it's Azar. Who's going to make this theirs? Great strike! 
but the keeper's equal to it. by poor finishing well it was far from high caliber Peter and when you're shooting from that position it, it needs to be just that high caliber Gel Mario. well no doubt someone is being given special treatment here well he's obviously been identified as a menace and they're dealing with him accordingly I think we can expect more of the same Jao Moutinho looks to dink one in. Jao Moutinho! Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Fellaini. Pulls out once more. De Bruyne plays it over to the other flank. Forward it goes. Ambitious to say the least, he seemed to be in a hurry to get that in. Lukaku, who does have an assist to his name. So what now? Now it's Lukaku. Fellaini tries to dink it in. De Bruyne with the foul. Ciao Mario. Just five minutes remaining now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Fellaini. For Tongan. For Marlon. Four extra minutes added on. Alderweireld. Witzel. And back to base. And time is up. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. Listen, they had plenty of time to overcome the setback, but for me, they never quite had enough adventure in their play to get back into that one.